Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you the Energy Take Classic home audio system, 5.1 audio system. Uh, I noticed online there's not a lot of great unboxing videos, and uh, I think it's very helpful to you, for you to see uh, before you buy uh, what comes within the box, what you can expect. Uh, it's a great system, and I'm really excited about it. I'm not an aficionado or audiophile in any sense. But I love a great deal, and when you get your best bang for your buck, I'm a, I'm a happy camper. So uh, we're going to open this today, and I'm going to show you what, what comes within the box. All right, so we've had a chance to cut her open. The, pot, the box did come in really great shape, so I was happy to see that. Came exposed, but good to go from Amazon. So the first thing you see here, we've got the owner's manual. Sure, you can see that. I'm sure we'll take a look at that as we're opening things. We've got the base. Let's see if I pull out the first layer here. What we've got looks to be really well packed. Take classic. Everything looks to be wrapped, taped really nice. And there's one part of the unit here, and then it looks to be the sub. Wrapped in paper, styrofoam. It's a really great shape there. So let's take a closer look at this box. So taking a look at what comes out of the top, sandwiched within the styrofoam, and then the subwoofer, packed in paper, packaged nicely, nice and tight within the unit. So let's go ahead, and I've already cut the tape around this styrofoam casing, if you will. And what you can find is all five of the speakers. So we have our center, and then what I would believe to be the front and the rear. Of course, we'll open these up. We'll sort that out, make sure that that's good to go. So let's take a closer look. All right, so I have the center speaker out. I kind of wanted to, I, I actually had to stop the video because what I like about the packaging is that it's so well packed, you actually need two hands to get it. So uh, it's, it's a plus, negative on the video side, plus for energy in terms of uh, safe packaging and ensuring that the, uh, the unit shows up to you intact and good to go. But I took it out of the, uh, the wrapper. It still has a, a, what amounts to roughly some tissue paper. Um, if you have taken a look at the reviews online, you probably know that the, uh, the units, all of the speakers themselves are very much prone to smudges and fingerprints. So just keep that in mind again as you're opening it. Maybe they have you know, thought a little bit ahead in that sense, but they've got the tissue paper on there as additional layer. So we've got this, the center speaker. That one's open and ready to go. Let's go ahead and do one of the standalone. All right, so I have the other speaker pulled out. It's got the tissue paper as well. It's wrapped in plastic. So that's been pulled out with the dust cover on top. So what I'll go ahead and do is take the tissue paper off so we can take a closer look at the speaker. So we've got the keyhole speaker mount on the top. Go a little old school, run, this, run the wire through. Very nice and compact speakers themselves. Let me make sure you're getting a good look. Again, there's that surface that can be a little bit more prone to smudging. And I'm going to do my part to smudge it, of course. So let's take the dust cover off as well. It looks like that's needed to get the tissue paper off. It's my understanding. This is, yep, it's not too bad to take off. Once that's off, we can go ahead and pull the front off of the tissue paper, and that's a pretty sharp look. And make sure you're getting a good view of that. Lighting's not too great, but you can see the energy brand name there. Everything's intact, the tweeter. It looks really sharp. Now you may have noticed the room I'm in is fairly, and this is where the speaker system will be in, and it's actually fairly light, so We'll see how the black plays. It might be a little bit high contrast, but really sharp looking speakers and we'll likely use speaker stands. So, but a really nice sharp look. 
All right, guys, so I've got everything unpacked. All five speakers are out, out of their packaging. Good to go, laid out here on the table. Uh, what I would definitely recommend you do, give everything a once over. Um, I ordered this again through Amazon. I can't recommend enough ordering through Amazon just to protect your purchase. Amazon will go uh, out of their way to make sure that you're completely happy. You, you know, you've received your order intact. Um, so I would definitely recommend that. And I think right now it's the, the best price as well. So I've actually, I'll include a link in, below this video so you can be directed right to it. So we've got it in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and then we can take a look. All right, guys, I wanted to show you this as I was pulling it out. It definitely requires two hands. It's sandwiched in there quite nicely, but you'll notice that the cord coming out of the sub actually looks like it still runs to a compartment in the box. So something to keep in mind, this is, ex this is exactly why these unboxing videos are so helpful. I could have just been ripping and pulling and who knows what, but just so you know, little compartment there for the uh, what, what looks like the electrical cord for the sub. So let's get this out and we'll take a look. All right guys, so the sub has been freed. Looks like the box, pretty much empty. Got all the units out here. Got the sub, it's wrapped. So let's go ahead and unveil it. We can share in this together. Of course it's got little bits, so cleaning party once this is done. Then go figure, more tissue paper. Now I told myself this wouldn't be a two hand job, but it's gonna prove me wrong. All right, guys, I thought we could do the unveiling together. It's a two hand job, be right back. Tissue paper is on here. I'm sensing a theme. That's okay, I don't mind another, even if it's a small layer of protection, but let's go ahead and rip into that. Looks like we've got the backside of the sub here. Again, keeping in mind the smudge and fingerprint prone material. It looks really sharp, but just keeping that in mind, and I'm definitely doing that as I'm opening everything up. Let's take a look at the backside of the sub. This is your first time taking a look. We've got the levels in, the volume level, low, pal low pass filter, the phase, which you can set to zero, 180, power mode. You can have on, auto, or off. As I uh, get this set up, I will most likely leave it to auto, so I don't have to be flipping that on or off. And then the line in. And then we've got the power cable running right out the back. So let's finish up. Removing all the extras here. Again, it's a really sharp unit. It'll look really nice where I know I will be putting it. Let's take a look at the front. And I know this emits a small LED light, so something to keep in mind. Got the energy brand right there. All right, wanted to take one last look at, uh, we've got the bottom of the subwoofer here. So we've got the cone. There's the front. Real nice looking. With the uh, foot pads here, you can tell I've uh, been repositioning and positioning. It has nice little grips, so wherever the final destination is, it should be staying there, but they, they do collect. And then one last time, the back of one of the satellite speakers. We've got the terminals, again, for the speaker wire. We've got the um, hole there, screw hole for a mount, as well as the, uh, the keyhole option there. And then the front. And that's it, guys. So that's the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's one of my first, so, uh, so be easy on me. Uh, but like I said, below you'll find a link to the, uh, the product as I've purchased it off Amazon. Uh, would definitely encourage you to get it there. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I hope you enjoy your system as well. Thanks.